called the, um, the, uh, the pastor was coming home with him for lunch, and he said, Pastor, I want to ask you a question. He said, Can uh, anyone see God? Oh, he said, No, of course not. Why? Well, he said, No man can see God. He said, No one can see him. Well, the little fellow was disappointed. And he used to stay down on the river. We lived near the Ohio River, and he used to go with an old fisherman up the river, a piece towards the Six Mile Island, a fishing all the time. And one day, after a big rain along this time of year, he was coming, pulling down through the waters, you know, and any boatman knows how the music is the, after the rain is over and the little bitty waves on the water and let your oars clip across it as you're pulling your boat. He was clipping along like that. The old fisherman had a long white beard. He began to look over his shoulder and where the sun come out, where the rain had been, made a rainbow. And he'd pull the oars on, he'd turn around and look. The little fellow noticed tears dripping off his white beard as it dropped down. He'd pull a little farther. He looked back. And the oh, little boy got, he's sitting in the bow of the boat, so he run up in the, towards the stern of the boat. He said, Sir, I'm going to ask you a question. If my mother can't answer, my Sunday school teacher, or my pastor. He said, God is so great. He said, Can anyone see him? And the old fisherman pulled his oars into his lap, threw his hands into his face like that, and wept out, grabbed the little fellow and hugged him. He said, God bless your little heart, honey. All I've seen for the past 35 years has been God. There's so much God on the inside, you can see him on the outside if he gets on the inside. The old fellow was just so full of God in here, everything he looked at, he's seen God in it. you got to get God in here in order to see God outside. You remember when he was first converted? Oh, how different things looked. The trees looked different, and the birds had a sound like they ever had before. Is that right? God had just come in here. God's speaking out in his universe. How marvelous he is. How I, I love to watch him in his nature. God, how he, he provides things. Of all the years, sometimes I go up into the north woods to go hunting. And I, I notice up there on the lakes, these little ducks come up from down in the south and go up there and make their nest on this lake. And they, the little ducks are raised there. They're hatched out. Well, about long, about September, it gets cold. And the first breeze comes down across the mountain there and real cold breeze. Well, them little ducks now, he's never left this lake. It was born right there on this lake. And there's one of those little ducks in that group as a leader, a little drake. And when that wind begins to blow down across through there, that little fellow will run right out there in the middle of that lake, stick that little honker of his up in the air and honk four or five times, and every duck on the pond will come to him. And what he'll do? He's never been off that lake. He was born there in the spring. It's fall of the year. He'll raise right up off of that lake and go just as straight to Texas as he can go to the rice fields without a compass or anything. What is it? God working in his nature, working among his animals. If God give a duck enough sense to know how to get out of the cold weather, what ought to do to a man that's born again of the Spirit of God? What's God among his ducks or among his... His, his animals. You take, for instance, like you little read in the newspaper and it says tomorrow it's going to be a it's going to be a pretty day. And watch that old hall go south, go over on the other side of the hill on the north side, bring them shucks around on the south side, and make her bed. Don't you pay attention to what that newspaper's talking about? That hog knows more about it than what the newspaper ever could know about it. It's going to get cold weather. You go hunt and watch those rabbits getting back under those shelters and things like that. Look out for rainy weather. See? God working in his nature. Don't you believe he does? Look at him in his sunset. You'll notice the sunset. Here some time ago, I was up in Colorado. It was early in the fall, and we were hunting. Oh, how I love to get into those mountains. My, after all those hard meetings, I go way back and get on a horse about 35 miles from civilization, way back across the Rocky Peaks by myself. Just take a couple of pack horses and take off get back there not so much to hunt the animal but to be alone with God right out among his nature that's where I see him and I remember that year specifically there had been kind of a warm season the